Hi and welcome back to the channel and to this next video of the KNX video series. Now we got to know all the theoretical knowledge that we need in order to start to work with the EDS6. But before we can do that, we first of all have to install the EDS6. And this is what we will do after the intro. Now in order to install the EDS6, you first of all have to go to the MyKNX page. Therefore I simply search here for MyKNX and here you can see my.knx.org. In this store you can buy KNX licenses as well as apps and additional information you can find here. In order to be able to download the EDS6 as well as KNX Virtual, you first of all have to sign in to your MyKNX account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for it for free. As I already have an account, I will quickly log into my account. After you have signed up and you logged into your account, you will start on the profile page. Here you can see and change your personal information. But what we will do now is we will go over here to shop and then to EDS. And there you can see the current versions of the EDS 6. Now there are three different licenses. First of all, there's the home license, then we have the light license and the professional license. In order to download the EDS 6, you will click here on download demo. And there it doesn't matter which version you download as the licensing is achieved via the USB dongles. So you can install the EDS 6 home demo and then later on use professional if you have bought a professional dongle. So therefore I will download the EDS6 professional demo for now. And then what we also have to do is that we have to install KNX Virtual. In order to find it, I will search the shop for KNX Virtual. And then you can already see the first entry here is KNX Virtual. We click on it and in order to get a download link and to install KNX Virtual, you have to buy it. But don't be worried as KNX Virtual is free. But you won't get the download link if you haven't finished the checkout process here. Because I have already done it, I will click here to account and then to products. And there I can find all my related KNX licenses and products I have bought. In your case, there only should be one license, maybe two if you already have bought a KNX license. Now after you have completed the checkout page, you should see here under your license KNX Virtual and there we got the download software link. And with this link we can install KNX Virtual. So now that we have downloaded all the necessary software, let's see how we install it. So I am now here in my downloads folder and there I have the two zip archives. Therefore I will first of all extract them as well as KNX Virtual. And then I will start with the EDS6. Simply double click here on EDS Setup. And then this window should pop up. In my case I have already installed the EDS6. You should see a button Install Now. And after you have finished this process, the EDS6 is already installed. Now let us take a look how we install KNX Virtual. Well therefore we don't really have to install it, but what I like to do is I will rename it to KNX Virtual so I can find it quickly. And then inside of KNX Virtual you have a kv.x. This is the program itself. Now I get asked if I really want to open it. I say yes. And then you can find KNX Virtual here. This is all you really have to do. After clicking OK, you might get a Windows firewall message that I simply allow. And then we have here KNX Virtual with all the simulated devices that we can use. For example, blind actuators, switching actuators and many more. Don't be worried, we will take a closer look to KNX Virtual later on in the video series. But that's it for now. We have completed the installation of the EDS6 as well as KNX Virtual. 
So let us start with the EDS6 in the next video. See you there.